Ooh, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome back to another Valhalla Pokemon League battle versus, of course, Slow Formula versus Shadow Shoe. Now, this game could be very, very interesting. Shadow Shoe is um, new to the Valhalla Pokemon League, but he's a famous battler, very, very competent one, and just in general, super scary. Greg, on the other hand, or the Speedy Formula, is a person that definitely are. Uh, I have trouble facing him because he deals really well with offensive teams and just do so many good predictions uh, that, uh, well, lack of other words, he's a very competent battler himself. Now, going into the team here, it's very easy to see the Shadows here has a very, very mixture here, which looks really nice. Uh, of course, Rotom Heat, Celestila, Scolipedic Lion Guard, Support, and Gudra. So, it definitely is built with a few offensive Pokemon in mind, mainly, of course, the Volcarona on Greg's team. Other than that, um, Greg's team is confined, of course, the regular Metagross, Garchomp, Alolan Persian, Azel, and Reg no, Mega Blastoise. I was going to say regular Blastoise, but no, it's the Mega form. So, definitely an interesting game here, really nothing to it. I'm just going to go head on and see what really happened. Uh, all I know is that this was rather an epic game. This was actually in battle yesterday. So it's kind of fresh, I don't know anything about the outcome, and that's going to be just as interesting as ever. Um, it's going to be great actually watching this. So we're going to start with Fusion, that is the Metagross, a shiny one of that, as he's going to send a Heat Magnet. So it's very clear which one has advantage here. I would, I would say that Slow Formula and the Fusion and the Metagross are pretty screwed from this, and it's very likely that he will go just for a Volt Switch here. Seeing, of course, that... Oh, I actually did that. Of course, overheat directly. Cool. As uh, I wonder, it looks bulky here, but I wonder whether or not if um, we go and see Will O Wisp. But definitely surprised that it didn't go directly for a Will O Wisp. I could definitely benefit towards the likes of Metagross too. As he's going to switch into Celestila. And uh, there is really nothing Garton can do to Celestila outside of forcing it out, clearly. That's, that's cool. As we are going to see now, Glycopod. Now, Glycopod can definitely go for, um, well, first impression, get some heavy damage going on. And he definitely felt that as Fusion is going to in. Though Fusion shouldn't take, depending on, of course, um, <laughs> Fusion says, but it should do a good chunk of damage. Yeah, first impression does hurt. We see Life Orb. We see Life Orb. That's... That's great. That's actually kind of cool. As I'm pretty sure Stealthrot's gonna hit the field now. He needs to get them up, right? Yeah, there we go. Um, so now Rotom can't come in as freely, and that's definitely gonna work in the disadvantage. We really have to see Will O Wisp now, because Garchomp may very well come back in as Camera, the Gamera Pokemon, is gonna come in, which is a blast. So it's gonna go Shadow Ball, actually. Hmm. And that's actually doing a decent chunk of damage. So he's clearly can't stay in. Uh, could go for a Volt Switch uh, if he had that. Though it's very likely could be Scarfed the more I think about it. As Gudra is a very, very good and safe switch in here. Um, and this is going to switch out to Gamera. Probably scouting for that possible Scarf. As uh, Donvakin is going to come in. Or he could predict a Gudra. Very likely. And it, clearly he has to go out here as Fusion comes in. Hmm. Pulling yet another double, not going for Earthquake or anything, as he goes directly for it. Okay. Hmm. And that's offensive. That is an offensive Gudra. That clearly did damage. And he does switch out, surprisingly, as he's gonna go to the Gligar. Question is Defog or Stealth Rock? Defog or Stealth Rock, or both? Could be likely, as there is the Ice Punch. Oh! Oh, Gligar! At least you're faster and can roost against it. Or switch out. Ooh. Didn't need to do that. As Celestia is going to win, it takes some residual damage and the Ice Punch damage. So that's a lot for Celestia who lack proper recovery. That's a lot for Celestia to take. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh. That's a freeze. That's a. Oh, dear God. That's unfortunate. That's really... Oh, here comes the Volcarona. Here we go. Here we go. As it falls out directly with Fire Blast. Oh. Down. That, that, that's, that's a switch. That, that's, that's a thing. As we see U-turn on the Volcarona. 
and he did decide to stay in. Oh, that was rough. So camera is going to come in again. Camera, oh, damn it, camera. I kind of get it's a camera on to its. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> so air slash wow really does plenty as it's going to go for the mega evolution. Air slash may very well KO here depending on the celestial assets. Uh, we see two offensive moves as yet. It's very likely speedy. Um, goes for Tornomice. I don't know if that was a good idea. I don't know if that was a good idea since we haven't seen Citrus kicks in. As it goes for Water Pulse, this could very well KO the Celestia as it does. Ah, oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. Tough play from Shadow Shoe, definitely. As Slime comes in, uh, could very well go for Fire Blast directly here, predicting, of course, the Mega Metagross. Or not the Mega, just the regular Metagross. So at this moment, it's kind of kind of mega. So anyway, Fusion comes in as um, actually Dragon Pulse may very well KO. Draco might overdoing it though. Draco might definitely overdoing it. Ah, oh, that's that's unfortunate. It's a bit too much. So at this moment, I do believe Greg plays a bit a bit predictable, but it seems to be working in his favor. He doesn't lose too much momentum by actually doing it. We're still 5 for 5. Oh, Ace of the Sun's Punch. That's gonna KO. That's. That's cool. Now, that was an, definitely an interesting interesting set to use for Ace of this matchup. As Doom gonna come in, clearly with first impression in mind, something will die. Now, I wonder, with Rough Skin in mind, it could be very likely. For a four switch here, actually goes to raw. Hmm. Yeah, it actually is resisted. First impression should be decent still. Um, definitely in an area where I do believe an aqua jet will KO. So that's gonna be pretty darn terrifying. As he's gonna switch out to raw. Hmm. Goes to camera, and he's gonna get a very nasty realization that even if it goes from aqua jet, life probe should not. Force uh, actually the first, um, or to call it um, emergency exit, but it actually does. I lied. That was kind of cool, actually. So Shadow Glager is going to come in. Now, I wonder, will he go for him defog or go for Stealth Rock on his own? I probably go for Stealth Rock if I had it. Uh, as um, Mega Blasters are actually outspeeds. That's that's tough. That is tough. So the momentum is still on speedy form last night or Greg's and Heat Magnet is going to come in now take of course its first residual real damage and I'm getting definitely realization it's very likely it's scarfed and um, Overheat might be the play here he's definitely going to sack up raw I think um, there we go and definitely the easiest switch in there or Volt Switch no cause are neutral Shadow Balls that's fair as that's going to KO of course the raw or the Volt Corona Damn, that's a Pokemon you don't want to deal with. Uh, so Garfield, of course, is going to do Persian. And of course, he's locked into good Shadow Ball as far as we are aware. And uh, it's not going to do anything here. It's really unfortunate that slow or um, that Shadow Shoe did not optimize for Will O Wisp. It could have been super helpful for this matchup. As of course we see Power Gem from the Persian. Now that's cool. <laughs> now that's really cool. <laughs> so anyway, keep going, of course, with Shadow Ball. It's very likely now that um, Goliath support could very well be the Pokemon that could be decisive here for Shadow Shoe. Goliath support actually is fairly decent here uh, and has done a tremendous job keeping up the pressure as an L2 comes in. Uh, Scarlet Page. Hmm. Is it. The big question here is whether or not it is a Scarlet Page with Shadow. Um, what do you call it? Uh, sword stance and uh, C move. Oh, we are gonna see C memento, aren't we? Or a C potting shot. I wonder how that work with protecting mind. As uh, no gigavolt havoc. Huh. That's um. That's definitely something else. <laughs> that is truly something else. It will hurt due to protection though, by by 25%. Um, I will say this, it's, um, 
that was uh, that was something else. As uh, Nell Two is gonna go for the Mega Horror, that's gonna KO this Garfield mainly because it didn't have fur coats. It definitely is a technician set by any sense of imaginations, I'm sure. As um, I wonder, I don't think he can deal with the Garchomp. That's the thing. He needs to connect, of course, the Mega Horror. Then basically hope that any kind of uh, I'm just gonna just protect it again, okay? Uh, he he must actually hope that oh you could definitely use dragon cells to your advantage i'm sure hmm because he has to rely on Golizopod to do the rest of the work as megahorn is not going to be a ko from this range sadly um the so rough skin's got to kick in of course and dragon claw might very well dragon tail might very well ko uh, and rocky helmet oh that's a lot that's really a lot definitely too much even for of course the Golizopod in mind Hmm, I wonder. Defensive Garchomp might be the answer. It just might be the answer. As we, of course, go to see the first impression here. Uh, and even if he KO, so, the rough skin and rocky helmet damage will be enough to KO him here. But that's okay, because Golizopod still got the kills. And quite frankly, I'm surprised Golizopod was this effective this matchup. It could definitely have been more effective. I do believe last month's remaining on the opponent's side here are, of course, Azov and, of course, the Mega Blastoise. So, I will say it was definitely an interesting game. I I think the worst play here, and I'm, I'm saying it like, like it's a bad play, but it definitely isn't. But going for a Tournamizer versus Mega Blastoise was a big risk. Um, and, of course, having Rotom locked as a Scarfer was also a big risk. Uh, definitely will wisp is something helpful here, although I do believe his main issue was towards Vol the Volcarona, but he had Pokemon that could definitely deal with Volcarona, I mainly of course Goliathopod with Orpa Jet. Having Life Orb is tough on Goliathopod, definitely feel it falls a bit too fast for its own good, but then again you might want to need that damage output, so I definitely can't understand it. Outside of that, everything else makes sense. Probably should default with Ligar after that very very rough switching towards of course Metagross, he definitely would have been able to outspeed the Metagross I'm sure even if it was a super defensive set I'm pretty sure he should be able to outspeed it but that's just speculation as best uh, for what it's worth I did enjoy this battle I definitely liked the way Slow Formula was playing towards this game mainly because his main focus here was just keep on pressure with rather predictable plays but with unconventional sets and they turn out to actually work quite well towards Shadow Shoe which I don't believe did necessarily too much wrong here in this battle. It just was whether or not the predictions was right, and most of the time they sadly were not. The offensive playouts were definitely not the right place. But, uh, you know, that's the game we play, and uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This is one of those times where it just didn't. Shadow Shoe is still one of those really, really smart players. I definitely look forward to seeing more from him, of course, in the upcoming weeks. But uh, what is it, guys? Can you thank you, of course, so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until, of course, take care. Bye.